Today's fresh manna. Hold up someone's hands. Exodus 17 8 13. We usually applaud and talk about the great leaders like Joseph, Moses, David, and Paul, etc. But there are people who worked behind the scenes and never grabbed the limelight, yet are crucial in many important events. In this scene from the travels of Israel, we find the great leader Moses mentioned, along with Aaron, as well as the first mention of the future leader Joshua. All of these men were great leaders in the history of Israel and all played a very important role in the early history of this great nation. However, there is another man mentioned in these verses that deserves our attention. his name is Her. This is a man who steps out of nowhere, does a great work and then disappears into the same shadows from which he came. People have long looked to Moses and Joshua as great leaders and as role models. Both men are classed, and rightfully so, as true heroes of the faith. However, I would like to say that the real heroes of this particular story are Aaron and Hur. Notice the context. When Moses' hands were held up, as a sign of intercession, Israel prevailed in the battle. When Moses' hands were allowed to fall down, Amalek prevailed. After a while, Moses became too weary to hold his own hands up and Aaron and Hur stepped up and held Moses' hands up until the battle was finished. In my mind, they are the true heroes here. Of these two, Hur seems to stand out in my mind. Here is a man about whom we know next to nothing, yet he enabled an entire nation to see a great victory. Today, I would like to pay tribute to every Hur on the FB this morning. I would like to honor all those who are willing to take the second seat. Those who are willing to make up the second line. People who are often unnoticed, unthanked and underappreciated, people just like her. People who perform a function in the body of Christ that is so vital, but who never get the recognition they deserve. People who enable the rest of us to do what the Lord has called us, that is those who make up the front line, those who take the first seat, to do. What is the role you play in the total plan of God for victory? Are you willing to take the place of her and hold someone's hands up today so God's plans may be fulfilled and victory may be won? As you support in whatever possible to prosper God's people and His work, you will also share in His blessings together with His people. Be Challenged Aoth Niel. January 15, 2024 God bless you.